Hello, Team Leo. It's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all doing well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. And I want to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking personal readings with me. It's greatly appreciated, Leo. So um, for those of you who are new, I do extended readings if Spirit guides me to, and that link will be down below in the description box, okay, if I do it, I will let you know at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned if you resonate with this message, okay, and just to let you know, these readings are timeless, okay, so it could be past, present, future, or, you know, or, and, okay, all together in one, so if you, if you resonate with the reading, and closer to the end, if it, like, doesn't resonate, that means it's a future prediction, okay, so keep that in mind, because time is not, you know, time is a human construct. So keep that in mind, okay? So, Leo, let's get into your reading. I don't like to do really long introductions. So, let's get straight to the chase. I feel like some of you, what's happening here is that you're tired of being the loving woman, okay? So it could be, you could be a male too, okay? So the loving man, loving woman, whatever it is, you're tired of being the loving person, okay? The loving one in this connection. Um, I feel that some of you are exhausted and other things are happening because I, I keep getting intuitively and I had so many distractions to start this video. I feel like you keep get, getting distracted by other things and so romance is not first on your list right now, okay? And when it comes to romance, I feel that you're just exhausted, you're tired of putting in so much effort and energy when it comes to this connection. But there's parts of you that are fragmented. So when it comes to the point where you're like, okay, do I love this person? Should I try to make it work? Should I pull back my energy? Should I just let it go? There's all these parts of you that are fragmented, okay? And this has a lot to do with you. It's like, I feel that when this person is away from you, you, like, how should I say it? When the person is around you, you're exhausted. Your energy is depleted, okay? Because it's like you're taking, it's taking a lot of your energy to get, you know, get, be successful with this person, to connect, okay? But when this person is not around, it's like you're... I feel like for some of you, you are, you know, thinking about the times when you were with them in the past and you're having great gratitude for it, okay? You're appreciating them and certain aspects of them, okay? But when they're around you, I feel like your energy is fragmented. And when they're not, it's like there's so many pieces to this connection, okay? And there's so many pieces to you. And I feel like your heart and your mind are pulling you in different directions, Leo, okay? And that's becoming an issue. But what I'm seeing here is that that needs to be like, you need to balance yourself out and how you feel. And this has a lot to do with you going within. I feel like some of you are not going within and to really like, really think about what this connection is, how you feel and things like that because there is a new beginning that's waiting for you, okay? There's a new cycle. I feel like for some of you, there's a cycle closing out between you and this person. So it's kind of like a way of doing things. Maybe you both have been doing the same thing in this connection for too long and it's no longer working. It feels more of a routine is what I'm getting, okay? So it's like maybe the way you initiate or this person that you're dealing with Leo initiates dates, like, or meetings, or however you all see each other, you connect with each other, it's that kind of um, aspect that is becoming stale, is what I'm hearing. Okay. I just want to see if there's any more messages from Spirit. Okay, so let's get into your person here. How they're feeling about this connection. What their energies are. What their energies are. Let's see. I'm getting a lot of... Um, I'm hearing a lot of conversations inside my head of a lot of like... Um, aggression. Okay. 
So somebody here is being a little aggressive with the other person. Like, I told you this. I told you that, you know? Okay. Wow. This is interesting. Wow. Okay, too many. One more, please. Interesting. Yep. All right, Leo. So your person here. Let's get into your person. So I feel that your person sees you. Um, this is the way they view you, okay? So they see you as attractive. They see you as, you know, you know how to take care of things. Um, they see you as compassionate and so forth, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that there's something about an offer, okay? So maybe this person put some type of an offer or you thought that this person was going to give you a better offer. Maybe it was like a relationship dynamic change or whatever it is. Okay, so I do feel like there was some type of an offer or it could have been you demanded more from this person or asked them for more in this connection. Okay, so that's on the table here. But your person here, it's like... Just like how you don't have the strength or whatever, I feel like this person doesn't either, okay? It's more of courage and it's taking a lot. So this person here, I do feel like they are reflecting on their needs also, okay? So it's like they're trying to figure out what your needs are and what their needs are when it comes to this connection, okay? And because of that, I do feel like this person might be acting aloof. They might not be talking to you. Um, I feel like they're keeping quiet at this time. And it has a lot to do with... Um, they don't want to hurt you, okay, because they realize your value now, okay? So maybe they didn't realize your value before, but now that they do, I feel like for a lot of you, this person didn't realize how valuable you are to them, okay? And some of you could have pulled your energy back, so now they're realizing more what they're missing out on. But when it comes to this offer, Leo, it's like because of that, like, yeah, I'm just, I just heard from Spirit saying change it up. Like, you both had to change it up. You were realizing how this dynamic was going is not working out for either of you, okay? And so because of that, I feel like now this person is like, thinks that they have to make a decision when it comes to you, okay? They have to make a choice here when it comes to pursuing this. And it has to do with some type of an offer. I feel like for some of you, you knew that this connection was not going the way you wanted. And I feel like for some of you, it could have been you or this person. You realized it was getting stale. Okay, I, I keep hearing stale. So it's like it was too, it was getting to be a routine where your love was not growing with one another. Okay. If it was love based, I feel like for a lot of you, you do love this person or you do care about them. Definitely. Okay. And vice versa, your person for you. Okay. There's some good intentions here, even if you don't think so. Leo, some of you, you're questioning this person's intentions now because of the way they've been behaving lately, okay? So let's get into your energy here, Leo. Sorry about the dog that keeps barking. There's like too much going on in this neighborhood today, but I couldn't like stop, you know, um, my readings. I can't stop for other people. I got to keep going, okay? So let's see. Oh, yeah, you're tired. Wow. Okay. Leo, in your last reading, it was called You Lost That Love and Feeling. You know that that um, that song? And um, to uh, those of you, I'm sure a lot of you did not watch that reading because I, I didn't get a lot of views on that. But um, 
this person really misses the way you were before, okay? And you could have a lot of reasons why you're not no longer like that. But I feel that um, for some of you, there's still communication going. You still want to make it work. But the issue here is some of you are really heartbroken by this person. You're really disappointed in them. And it's really hard to make things better when you're disappointed or you're heartbroken, okay? For some of you, it could be this person really hurt you, but they haven't apologized to you, and it's like you're using it against them. You are, okay? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say what Spirit is saying. I'm gonna be real with you, Leo. It's like you're still hurt, and you're disappointed in this person. So how do you think that's gonna go when it comes to this connection, growing this connection? It's going to take a long time, okay, if it works. So spirit really wants you to heal your heart, okay? And um, there's a resentment here also, okay? And it's totally justified. Spirit is not saying it's not justified, guys. But listen, um, when spirit gives advice, they're not going to, you know, blame one person over the other. They don't do it like that, okay? Okay. This is not blaming you. This is actually trying to make you realize that because you are hurt, because you are disappointed, you're harboring resentment for this person. There's anger within you. And when that happens, it's like that's why it's hard to work. If you want to take it to the next level with this person, that's why you're having a hard time because deeply they hurt you. They hurt you, okay? And that's a matter of you accepting that and healing that within you, okay? Because you're freaking tired right here. Look at you. You're tired, okay? This is you, like I said before. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're just like, you know, you might have your defenses up towards this person. Um, you still want to keep it going. I feel like a lot of you, you still want to be in contact with this person regardless whether you're not seeing each other or not. Some of you are not. But the thing here is that The, the communication is off because of this defense, okay? I feel that, you know, some of you really have to um, get into, you know, healing this, releasing this anger and resentment. And that's fine. I know a lot of you are going to write down comments of what this person did to you. That's fine. Like, spirit knows you're going to do that, okay? And that's fine. Let it out. Release it, okay, in order for it to be healed, Okay, um, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of things, Leo, you're angry, and you know what, you have every right to be, no one's saying anything, but um, you have to release that anger, and not, I don't, I'm not saying do it to this person, but just like, um, I don't know, go for a walk, exercise, go for a run or something. Um, that would really help you actually. But I feel that because of that, the communication is not the way it's, it's supposed to be. Okay. Because you're tired and you're waiting for this person. You're like, okay, I'm done. I did everything that I need to do. And you're waiting for this person. But this person is being aloof with you. I feel like for some of you, they're not even speaking to you at all. Okay? But others of you, this person is being totally like... They're being aloof and you're thinking to yourself, Leo, that, oh no, they're hiding something from me. Could it be there with someone else? Could it be there, you know, messing with someone else? There's all these things going through your mind. Okay? But the thing here is that you feel... Like, okay, I've done it all. I've tried everything with this person, okay? But it's failed. It's failed, okay? You feel like it was not successful. You feel like this connection, it's like, um, this is what I'm getting. I felt, you know that song, I fell in love in a hopeless place? That's what, that's what you feel like right now. And here we have the six of wands, okay? 
and you just want things to go back to the past. But spirit is saying here, things can't go back to the past because it was not growing. Some of you are looking back to the past and um, reminiscing, like, why can't it just be like it used to be before? Because um, there needs to be growth, okay, for those of you who want this person. Um, yeah, but spirit is saying, like, definitely, you need to um, heal that heart space, Leo, Let's see what else this person... I feel like this person is not going to really make any effort until... I'm going to see if I should extend this video. Okay. Whew. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that when it comes to the domestic aspect of this connection, whether you both need to live together, like that kind of thing, that's when things get crazy between you two, okay? And this has to do with the changes that need to take place, Leo. There needs to be a lot of changes that take place when it comes to you and this person, how you both operate the dynamics of this connection, okay? I feel that for some of you, this person is questioning whether to take this connection to the next level. They are. They are questioning it. For a lot of you, you might have told this person you want a commitment or you want to level up, whatever it is. For some of you, this could be, I just heard, baby daddy, um, this person, if you're dealing with someone, I know a few of you are dealing with someone who's in another connection that needs to like really, uh, go down, um, before you both, you can't expect a commitment from someone that is in something else here because it's not going to go the way you want to Leo. Okay. But the changes need to take place because, it's like there's an offer on the table. I feel like both of you want this. It's not that you don't, okay? But there's a lot involved, more involved into this taking it to a higher level, okay? And um, I'm going to go into an extended, actually. I'm going to see what this person's next moves are. Leo, what you should do about this, okay, based off the person's actions. And I'm going to see um, what spiritual advice is coming in for you, okay, when it comes to the situation. So you can follow me down um, in the description box below, okay, Leo? And um, you can follow the link and purchase it. for the, If you feel that this situation resonates with you and you want more spiritual advice about this situation, okay? Um, anyhow, Leo, I hope that this has cleared something for you, regardless whether you follow me to Gumroad or not. And um, I just heard increase the peace, okay? So yeah, how we you can bring peace to, to this connection. For some of you, you're having um, a lot of maybe arguments is what I'm hearing, misunderstandings, and so forth. So I hope that this has helped you in some way. And don't forget to like this video if it has. And um, let me know how you resonate, it with, and resonate with this video in the comments. <laughs> all right, Leo, I wish you all the best. Stay safe and peace out.